Good morning, we are back again for another ride from the bike garage. This time we're coming in for 27 miles and just shy of 4,000 feet of climbing. The start of this ride heads off towards the Black Route, but instead of turning right up Shatton Moor, we are going to continue around to the left, which will take us over towards Grindleford. Grindleford will drop over towards Stony Middleton, climb up Coombsdale. From Coombsdale, loop around the back there towards Baslow. Baslow will be climbing up Kerber Edge. Kerber Edge will be heading towards the Longshore Estate, through the Longshore Estate before climbing up Burbage. Burbage, we're then going to work our way along to the bottom of Stanage Edge before dropping down past Hope Valley Ice Cream back on towards Bamford. It's a bit more of a distance steady ride this time. Perfect for hardtail mountain bikes, full suspension mountain bikes or e-bikes. You could probably get away with doing this one on a gravel bike as well. The weather's looking pretty good so we're going to jump on the bike now, head out of the bike garage up towards Shatton. So once again we are climbing up towards Shatton Moor, although this time, unlike the black route and the other recently filmed route, we're not going to be going all the way up to the moor. When we get to the bridleway, where we would usually turn right, we are going to continue following the road to the left. There is a fair bit more road involved with this ride versus other rides, however for a slightly less technical longer ride, this is a very good choice. So we're on the road for a little bit just now. We will effectively be looping around Hathersage. You can see Hathersage just in the bottom of the valley. So just at the plough in here, we're going to turn right. So not long after turning right at the plough in, we are going to turn right here. It just gets us off the main road onto the slightly quieter trails. Just at the end of here, we're turning left onto Sir William Hill Road. This is a very steep one. At the bottom, we're going to turn right. and then we're turning right on the main road. Taking the signs towards Bakewell. Just after leaving Grindleford, we're gonna turn right here. This takes us onto a new road, just on the bend here where the road becomes close to cars. We're gonna go straight through and down. This takes us down to Stony Middleton. Just here on the main road by the Moon Inn, we're going to turn left and just a little bit further down, we're going to turn right and climb up Coombsdale. Here we are just at the top of Coombsdale by the first gate. We're going to go straight through here before turning left. And then we've got a bit of a descent down towards Baslow.
we're going to go straight through here. This is quite a busy road, so be careful on it. We've got a little steep climb here before dropping back down again towards Baslow. So we've just worked our way through Baslow, just turned left there going up to Bar Road. We are going to follow through here all the way up to Kerber Edge. From where we've got a really good off-road section that lasts a good few miles before we drop underneath Stanage and then work our way back towards the bike garage. And with that, we have climbed up along and down Kerber. We're now heading off towards the Longshore Estate. It's a little bit further up here, just past the pub on the left-hand side. Just turning left at the white gate here. So just past the Longshore Estate with the cafe there. A good little spot for a coffee stop if you need. We are currently just shy of 20 miles into this ride now. So we have about seven miles to go. When we hit the road here, we're gonna follow it up the hill. So turning right slightly. At the next junction, we're then gonna turn left, dropping down to the bottom of Burbage, where we'll climb up for our final last ascent. Quick little climb up here, and then back on the road towards the underside of Stanage Edge. We're gonna just join onto the road, take a left through the car park, and up the next off-road climb. Dropping down here, going to turn right, just before the cattle grid. Turning right, just here. Before taking the left, just here onto the bridleway.
and with that that's the bulk of the climbing done we're going to head over towards hope valley ice cream now where we'll drop down and then be back off towards the bike garage turning left just at the junction here before turning right here and heading down by hope valley ice cream If it's in the middle of summer, feel free to stop off and pick up an ice cream. I can personally confirm that it's very nice from there, especially on a nice hot summer's day. Turning right just on the bottom of this road. I'm going to stick to the pavement because it's quite a fast road, but there is a cycle lane. You can continue straight through the lights here to the garage. Or if you turn right at the lights, you can then turn left. So I'm going to just cross here, turning right following the blue cycle signs. Again, just following the blue cycling signs, we'll turn left. Drops us down a much quieter lane, back to the garage. And here we are, back at the bike garage. So there we go. That was coming in for just shy of 27 miles and just shy of 4,000 feet of climbing. So there's still a good bit of climbing and a good bit of distance. This ride is definitely more focused towards those who are on the hardtail bikes or maybe they want something that's not as severe as our other routes that take on descents such as Cavedale or The Beast. It's a really good little day out. You could probably also do this on a gravel bike. However, I think the higher bikes that we hire, the hardtails will be perfect for this. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy the route. I'll see you in the next one.